What is going on, guys? Okay, so, H, we're doing some mock-up today. Ooh, yeah. So, we, I mean, you can see there's a flywheel on there, there's an intake manifold on there. Yep, there's an oil pan underneath it. It's not actually bolted on, but there's an oil pan underneath it. I can do all this mock-up stuff. Um, I need to grind for axles. I need to do an all-wheel drive, H to B, so we need to do that. Okay, I've got my flywheel bolted up. Well, I mean, I got one loose, but I'm bolting that up. I got my half shaft bracket on, and then my half shaft's loose. It's just chilling because this card, I can't bolt it up yet. But I'm gonna lift it up, get it up in the air, and I'm gonna get it propped up to where I can look at all this and grind and get it mocked up and cleared and ready to go in the car so then we can have a all-wheel drive h to b crx i mean phew. what do you guys think about that and i always 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 lock tight my flywheel bolts and then just leave it on after it's all mocked up all right so i got it all picked up i got it on the transmission jack and supported so it doesn't fall if anything but this is just where I'm doing all my adjustments just for the sake of it being higher, you know? The fact that I can just bring it up like this, woo, you don't even know about that life. But so, I've already kind of jumped ahead a little bit because my man Tom got me rolling. I got my bracket here, I had my, I had, my half shaft bolted up as you guys saw earlier, but I couldn't bolt it all the way up because of this guy. Just boom, whoosh, flush, cut him, it's gone. All right, now we bolt it up. I believe next, from seeing on YouTube, I gotta trim this guy some. We're gonna check right now though. We'll actually do it with you guys on camera. Just cause, you know, yeah, you guys like that. So, let's get this guy. So, from what it's looking like, I gotta make some adjustments here because uh, I can't quite mount the half shaft up with this little bracket here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen up my chain holding the motor to this. And I'm gonna hoist up, so the motor's on the hoist too. So, I'm gonna hoist up this end, and then this end is gonna hover above this bracket, and we're gonna be fine. how it's gonna be huh so you see here it still hits down here so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna clearance this a little bit instead of grinding an oil pan I'm gonna clearance that and so I've been grinding this got that super 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 close to glaring I mean it's just got like it's making a lot of noise the speck of me I'm talking about your grinding was noisy. Oh. You're making all sorts of noise over there. Yeah, I'm making all kinds of noise grinding. Oh. Grinding up. But so, I've got this guy to where it almost clears. But so, it's got the smallest gap right there. Can't get it to the right spot with one hand, but so I'm going to grind this bottom lip here see that let's pull it up i mean it's still actually touching it just needs a little bit of clearance i'm going to take off this little nub right here on the other side of this where this bolt was and then i bet it's going to just be perfect i'm stoked about that all right the next step to we're going to throw this axle boom boom and we're going to see how much we got to clear for the axle and then after we do that We'll do the clutch on. We're good. I mean, I have. So, I've been going on this for a bit. I've had the HTB kit for probably five months. I just don't have a whole lot of time. And you guys watching my videos has given me some time to do it. So keep on just watching, guys. I appreciate it so much. But so I've had the HTB kit for a bit. It's actually in a car. I have an H motor made it up to a B-Series transmission already in a car. 
mounted. I was gonna do a little streetcar throw together real quick, but I decided I was pointless to skip around and just beat around the bush and go ahead and climb over the mountain. All right, so it looks like just putting the axle up here with my hand. It looks like it hits. See, it doesn't even go over, but it hits right there. So, gonna have to grind this up a lot. Probably have to take a little out of here. That's all right. Bust it out. Okay, so we literally just took all this and we made it flat. All this is one flat piece. We had to grind the lip on the oil pan all the way to the half shaft so that the axle, all this would clear. And then uh, we put, so it was still touching here. It, it all bolted all the way up, but it was still touching. So we put just a washer, boom, boom, boom. I mean, the half shaft is still gonna make it to the training. It's got a little bit of play, so it'll still go for sure. Okay, guys. Yeah, I know. My camera is always dirty. I'm blind, and uh, yeah, that's about as much as I can give you on that one. Honestly, I could. Hey, look at this. So we got our. <laughs> so boom! You see that? Look at that. Woo! Tactical RX. Look how now you can read it because it's clean. <laughs> All right, so yes, guys, I understand there's metal shavings everywhere, but I put the pan on, I've tightened it all up, got everything sealed. Yeah, there's a little hole right there, but um, I think we'll be fine. I got my oil filter covered. I'm, I mean, it's all, everything's already done. I'm, the pan's gonna come back off because not everything's done under here. I gotta, after the girdle's done getting welded up by Sean, I gotta put the girdle on, so. That's why you guys didn't see me torque the main caps when it was all being built because I, the top to the main caps is somewhere around here, but it's not actually on. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put my clutch on. I hope all of you are ready for that. I got my H2B plate here. Got my mock-up motor, my oil drive transmission. Clutch is on, I'm putting the plate on now. Got lock side on my bolts. I don't want these to back out ever just gonna get this guy all made it up and good and then I'll show you what modifications I had to make and everything okay so the plate is all bolted up it's got these four and then there's two back here and then it's gonna bolt up the transmission well, this is a, a mount bolt but these are gonna go to the transmission it's got its double dowels everything's there Okay, and then so this part actually was just a circle here, and then it came down, and I had a full piece, just so the half shaft could go in. So I had to cut all this out so the T-case could come right here, and then the starter on a factory B-series is here, but on the CRV it's here, so I had to notch this out and make my own, and I have a template. This is my cardboard aided design. Boom. You know, you see, so the, the factory one came down here and there was a perfect circle. Half shaft went in. Factory starter, CRV starter. So I had to trim that out. That's where that one went. Everything's pretty straightforward from there. It looks like, so what I actually did was I just knocked the washer off the half shaft so I didn't have to worry about cutting this guy up so I could still use that, utilize that bolt goes in and out no problem I'm gonna put the tranny on and all right transmissions on so obviously you can see I didn't need to clean you clear out quite as much as I did but might as well just take it all out so you don't have to worry about it then the half shaft fit up nicely Started to go. 
trying to find my little mallet and turn all the speed it in. All right, all right, all right. Half shafts on. It's in there, look. And the washer's just taken off of it. it. Slides right in, no problem. And I did cut the washer off because I didn't want to leave that in there. And that's, that's stupid. Make it look clean, make it look nice. Get that out of there. And then, so it's just got all these bolts. The regular B-series transmission bolts, the flywheel. I mean, the starter is going to go here. It's got its own little long. It comes with the kit. All these bolts were yet, but we're figuring it out together. This is the H to B-series mount. You slide it here. And then it comes with this washer, the spacer. Push this one Allen back. This one right here. Slide that in. Boom. Okay. Okay. Boom. Alright, so that's the driver's side post mount. I'm probably going to end up making one because they don't actually make a three bolt EF post mount. Alright, so that's where I'm leaving it for this video, guys. The plate is on, the transmission is on my H, the T case is on, the half shaft is on, the half shaft plate is on, I could throw my axle on if I wanted but I'm going to get a new one, um, I have my, this on here, we're going to, we're going to check some stuff out and see if we can figure something out with that, and, alright guys, this is Goofy Built, peace out, hope you're loving it.